When you ask people who their favorite Guilty Gear character is, they'll probably say Soul Bad Guy, Leo White Fang, Jacko, Bridget, or Melia Rage. I don't blame them. Guilty Gear has a lot of wacky and cool characters like Faust and Johnny. But one of my favorite characters is Zato One, and obviously Potemkin, but I want to shine the light on Zato One for today's video. I'm the Insane Metron, and Zato One is one of my favorite Guilty Gear characters, and I'm just gonna yap about why I love him. The first thing is his design. Zato wears a cool headband over his eyes, and he has a cool outfit. I also love how Eddie doesn't look like a shark anymore, and he looks like a gremlin about to commit war crimes. And I love how Zato looks when he's in the air, does a dust attack transition, and that windscreen. <coughs> the next thing is his animation, and they really went all out with it. Zato can Jojo pose with his shadow Eddie when he wins. His taunts are really cool with Eddie. His attacks are really cool, especially this one where he turns into a skeleton. And this sick command grab. Basically, Eddie makes Zato stand out, especially Zato's aerial attacks. They look so cool with that red outline. Then we go to Eddie's attacks, where he jumps like a frog, becomes a shield, freaking stabs your opponent's legs, and claps maniacally while skewering them. Okay, Eddie's mentally insane. Then his one super summons a shadow shark, and that's awesome. And his other one turns Eddie into a sword that flies towards the opponent. Guilty Gear's animation was already great before, but Zato and Eddie are perfection with it. Although, it can be hard to grasp what's going on when Eddie is taking up the corner. Now, I'll talk about his playstyle. So, Zotto is a puppet character with Eddie, and is considered one of the hardest characters to play in Strive, alongside Asuka. Our reason for that is, you gotta watch Eddie's health bar. If it's empty, Zotto can't use him and he becomes weaker and loses most of his toolkit. Fortunately, his sword super will refill Eddie's health bar and he can manually retract Eddie to refill it faster. It's also cool that Zotto can go underground and swap places with Eddie. Zotto has a reflector and you can move Eddie with that, along with the sword super. Also, when you use Eddie as a shield, it'll take his full health bar. So the next reason why I love Zotto is his lore. I'm not gonna deep dive into it, but Zotto wears that headband because he's blind he gave up his sight so he can control his shadow, and is the leader of the Assassinations Guild. He works with Slayer, Venom, and Melia Rage. Then jump forward to the first Guilty Gear game, and Zato's shadow takes over his body. And that's Eddie's first appearance. Then in Action Core, if you select Zato, then the game calls him Eddie now. Then Zato dies. Jump forward to Exert, and Zato has been revived by the Conclave as an experiment to bring justice back but he doesn't have any emotions. Also, Zotto ruined Foss's life. So Foss was known as Dr. Baldhead, and he was an amazing doctor. One day, Foss was going to do this procedure to save a little girl, but the Illuminati group known as the Conclave didn't want that to happen since it would ruin their plan to bring justice back. So they hired Zotto to kill Foss, but the girl died instead. And then Foss went insane and went on a murder spree. Holy crap, I feel so bad for Foss, and this cutscene is really satisfying to see in Exert. If you've come this far, I can guess what has brought you. Your mistake and the conspiracy behind it. Thank goodness we're on the same page. To be quite frank, I confess I feel a powerful urge to slaughter you as the man responsible for ruining my life. All too understandable. Please feel free. The next reason is the voice acting. Guilty Gear's dub and sub is pretty good, but I mainly stick with the sub. Although, I do like most parts of the dub, especially with Matthew Mercer's performance as Zato 1. I may have been reborn, but my sins are not and never will be cleansed. And Takedo Koyasu, who voices Dio in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> I do like both their acting skills. I like how Matthew gives Zato some emotion a tiny bit, but not too much, and Takedo completely gives Zato no emotion. And both of these guys are awesome. 
I like hearing them and stuff. I watch like Matthew plays Law in the One Piece dub, and Takedo plays Bo Bo Bo. The last reason why I love Zotto is because of his song, Let Me Carve Your Way. It starts off really heavy, showing that Zotto still doesn't have any emotions, or hope for that matter. basically becoming a former shell of himself. Then the last bit of the song happens, and it becomes soft. And then we see how Zotto starts to feel. I once had some sweet memories Each world remains all the same I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> Man, you don't get songs like these anymore. And those are the reasons why I love Zotto. It's kind of sad that I don't see that many Zotto players out there anymore. Recently, I've just been seeing Slayer, Abba, Johnny, Elfel, Bridget, and Eno players. I am on the 6th and 7th floor, so that might be why. Also, I've not been playing Strive for a while now because I just get really annoyed and mad. And I don't like that. But I still listen to the music on Spotify and just vibe with it. But that's why I love Zotto 1. He's really cool. And I love his lore. And we don't talk about Eddie though. So comment down below who you love in Guilty Gear. And I'll see you later guys. Have a nice one.